Hi, my amazing planner friends. It's Jess from My Magical Planner, and today we have some new inks. I'm so excited about this collection. I ordered it from Pen Chile. This is my first order for them, and I, I can link a referral code down below from them. If it's your first order, you get like $10 off or something. It has to be, I believe, over $75. But if you're interested, I'll try and link it down below for you guys. But they sent me this little sticker and then I have these six inks. So I'm more than doubling the amount of bottled inks I think I have. Or, yeah, doubling because I have six bottles. <laughs> I just had a look. So we have the Peter Pan series here as well as one other ink that I thought would be good for Valentine's Day. So let's go ahead and swatch these out. I'm going to be using my little swatch book and be able to find a nice empty page. I'm curious to see if Daddy Long Legs is similar to this one, but we'll see. And Tinkerbell, I think they did it right. They did it wrong. <laughs> Anyhow. Okay, let's start with... Let's do the ha Captain Hook inks first. So I'm going to start with, I think, TikTok Croc because he's right here and maybe go through the different greens. So very nicely put in there. There's like a little box here. I guess this is what it's supposed to look like. And you have your RGB and Pantone colors there. So if you want to kind of look at it, it looks like it has a little bit of a almost sheen to it. Maybe it's a red, which would make sense since, you know, he's a crocodile. <laughs> I do find the label kind of interesting, although it's popping up a little bit here, so I don't know how well it's attached, but it's one of those, you know, you shift it and you get the different images. So you have the croc there and then the name. So I think that part's cool. Um, I don't think this one has any shimmer to it. But we shall see. Oh, I forgot to get a pipette out. Hold, please. Ta-da! To do our swatching, what I'm going to do is I'll put a small drop of the ink here, spread it out with a sandwich bag over here, and then I will use my Pilot Dip Pen, which is a medium nib, to write out the name and do a couple little squiggles and that kind of thing. So, since I don't think I need to shake this guy up, really... We'll turn them a couple times just to be sure. So let's see what TikTok Croc looks like. Ooh, if I can open him. Oh, there he goes. First, he looks very teal in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I wonder if he's more teal than green. Although his swatch looks very green. So let's see. All right. And bag. I was really excited when I saw that they came out with these. And it leans a little teal to me. Like, we'll have to see when it dries. I really like teal, so I'm not sad about it. But I was expecting more green green, I guess. Like crocodile green. But maybe as it dries. We'll see. So we're going to go Weeringle. I think I really need to dip again, so let's see. I do really like the color. I mean, it's not what I would think of. I don't know that I really needed to dip there. I just have it 
because this does seem like a wetter ink. I don't see any shimmer in it. So I will say that. But definitely, oh, I'm seeing some red come out there. Yeah, we'll take a closer look once it has a chance to dry more. So after TikTok Croc, let's go Captain Hook. I do like the bottles quite a bit. So here's Peter's little card here. I like these cards a lot, actually. And it looks like maybe he has some browns in him and is more of a, a green green, but we'll see. I'm very surprised by that one. Because it looks nothing like, well, maybe it has the undertones there. Maybe I didn't put it on thick enough. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to show you Peter's bottle. So there's Peter. More of a traditional Peter than like a Disney type Peter. So, and you have like the one feather here and then I don't know if these are feathers or leaves down here by his side, but definitely a cool little thing here. Let's see if we can open him. Definitely more olive-y in the, the can of, canister in the bottle. You know, I do have a thing for Peter Pan. I just, I love like the Disney version of Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. Um, I have read the book as well. Tinkerbell's a bit of a stinker in the book and Peter is, <laughs> yeah, Peter's up. So I like the uh, Disney version a little better than the actual book. So that's what I'll say. Oh, I like that. Olive. I tend to like olive or like deeper greens like that. It reminds me of a color burst ink that I have. So I'll be interested to see as it dries how close those colors are. And this one kind of reminds me of Emerald of Shavor, I think is what it's called, without all of the, the shimmer to it. So let's do... Angle. And this one is Peter Pan. Unfortunately, I don't have swatch cards yet. It's something I very recently have been thinking I need to get because I like to compare some of these inks to each other. Oh, it's almost like a, a golden sheen or something to that. That's very interesting. Okay, let's, let's cap up Peter so we don't spill him. All right. Now on for Miss Tinkerbell. Now from the swatches I've seen, I think that they did Tinkerbell the way my brain says Tinkerbell should be. So I think I'm gonna be happier with this one than the last Tinkerbell ink I got from Journalizer. I liked how there were getting some darker edges there. So this is our little swatch card. Very cute. And you definitely have some gold shimmer in there. So I wanna mix that up.
let's see what this shimmer looks like. It's really hard to tell. I think this is a different green than Peter as well. Like the base color. Yeah, it's much deeper. Let's see, did we get that shimmer in there? Oh, and I got a hair. <laughs> we don't need the hair. I definitely see some shimmery qualities there. A lot lighter than Peter. Peter is so, well, I like them all actually. I was gonna say, Peter's my favorite so far. Peter appeals to me very much. Let's see. Tinkerbell. And I always write Tinkerbell as one word and I have it as two on here. I don't really need to swatch again, dip again. It's kind of habit though, right? Really interesting to see how much glitter is in in the writing because I didn't shake it again before dipping. I think I'm gonna like that color as well. I don't know. It reminds me of Moss Park Green, only with a shimmer to it. So I think I have enough. I'm trying to figure out can I do all five of them on this page? Do we do windy or hook next? Let's do hook. So hook is a red ink, very fitting for him. Here's this little card, very deep burgundy color with maybe some brown to it from, the, but I don't know how accurate those are. <laughs> I don't think this one has any glitter to it, but we have our hook there. I do think that's really fun. <laughs> okay. Oh, the lid's really odd. There it goes. Looks really pretty in the bottle. So, just a little bit up. Oh, I think this might be the darkest red I have so far. Just looking at it in that little bit there, but we'll see. Very pigmented. I'm loving how this glitter is on the edge. Helps if I wipe off the bag. <laughs> Sorry guys. It looks almost brown there. That was so cool. Yeah, a very, very deep red on this one. I think I have enough room to do Wendy too. All right. Well, Hook, let's see what you write like. I like the way that this writes. No, I just spelled captain wrong. <laughs> it's it's a deep red, but it's also very bright at the same time. So I just find that interesting. Let's cap up hook here. And our last is Wendy Darling. Because Wendy always has her blue dress. I wonder if they did John and Michael what colors they would be. Maybe black and brown. 
So I'm really intrigued by this with the glitter in the pink and blue. So we'll have to see. Oh, look at how pretty that silver shimmer is in there. So Altink had gold. Wendy has silver. Very fitting. So let's see here. Let's shake her up good. Kind of, I don't know, you can already see in the the bottle that it's going to be a very light blue. Not that I'm sad about that. I love a light blue. It, I want it to be something different than what I see every day kind of deal. So I think Daddy Long Legs will have to be on his own sheet. I don't even know how to describe that blue. It's, it's very unique to me. Oh my goodness, but it's going to be, well, so, so pale. Kind of like Tinkerbell pale, but more so. <laughs> like almost illegible. Oh wow. Okay. Should we shake her a little bit more? Because I think she's settled. Okay. Let's try and shake her again before I do the dip. So I love the concept of Wendy, but I'm a little concerned here. Well, maybe. We'll see. I mean, it's it's hard when the the background here is dark, like the dotted line is darker than I think the ink is. So maybe if I didn't have that, I don't know. I do still like it. It's just it's so incredibly light, and I got it off the side. So we're going to have to let those dry for a minute and then I can do daddy long legs, which is part of their, <laughs> um, oh gosh, what do they call it? Like their writers series or something. And I had to get it because, okay, one, I wanted a really nice pink ink for February. And two, I love this movie. Absolutely love it. I know it was like way before my time. I love really old movies and this is the one that I think of and so I'm wondering like the pink almost looks like the pink that they used in the background there and I think that would be so cool. So we're gonna let these dry and we'll see how they end up. All right well they're mostly dry Wendy is taking a little bit longer than the other inks to dry, but we're going to go over them anyhow. So up here at the top is that TikTok croc. You can see just a teeny bit of red there. And if you look at how the writing went, it looks like it kind of outlines the writing, which I love because it kind of adds that emphasis to your writing. So that one's a big win for me. And I like the color. It's not what I expected, but I still like it. Peter Pan is really it's kind of fun it has this brown to it and the the variation and the coloring is really nice it's kind of a gosh I, it's like a light avocado green i would say so that one's kind of fun. And then we have the Tinkerbell, which I love this part. I wish it was more this color, to be honest, than the lighter shade. I mean, it's still really pretty, don't get me wrong. And I love that shimmer to it, which we have with the gold shimmer. But it's a little bit light. It is close, just like this one. So 
TikTok croc, I felt like, and I don't have swatches, sorry, like the swatch cards. I wish I did. Um, but Emerald um, of Shavor, this is like a lighter version of it, I feel like. So if you really like this ink, you probably will like this one, is my guess. And then for the Tinkerbell, I felt like... Ferris Wheel Press was probably the closest I already have to it, but it's a little bit lighter than Ferris Wheel Press. So if Ferris Wheel Press is too light for you, Tinkerbell will probably be too light. And then as far as hook goes, I only have two other reds, and I feel like they're all really close. So there they are. This is maybe a little lighter than the Infinity Burgundy or the Red Dragon. But I want to swatch them all out close together and see. But you do have a little bit of brown in here, which is kind of fun. And you do see it a little bit in the writing as well. But this is Untomo River paper, and it does tend to bring out some of those type of qualities a little bit more than other types of paper. As far as Wendy goes, look at how light that is. She's not going to be legible. Maybe if you're writing in the diary and you don't want someone to read it, I think it might be perfect for that because they'd be like, what? But I do like the way that you kind of, I don't know if I can get it on camera, but you kind of get this shimmer just where the writing is at the right angle. And I love how this turned out in the darker spots. I wish it was more this like teal color that you see on the edges. I do have a little bit of like feathering there. It felt really wet for some reason. Wetter than the other inks. So I don't know why that was. But oh I forgot to put a piece of paper down. Shoot. We have quite a bit of bleed through. We're going to skip this page <laughs> because oops. And I'm going to put a piece of paper in here. I don't know what I was thinking. So this isn't blotter paper or anything. This is just leftover plate paper that I have from Aura Estelle from like last year. And it's, it's just enough of a barrier to absorb anything that's going through. So let's do Daddy Long Legs, our last ink of the day. And more traditional label. I actually think I like this better then even though these are quite fun this feels more secure where those because they're a thicker label feel like they're going to peel off and then I'm going to be in trouble <laughs> here's our little swatch card so you can see it's kind of that rosy pink with gold shimmer which is exactly what I was hoping for for like February so let's let's see how it turns out Oh, are we thinking it's good and agitated? Maybe we just roll it a couple times this way. <laughs> I've never actually read the book, Daddy Long Legs, and now I'm intrigued going, I should probably read the book because I don't think I knew there was a book. I mean, oh my goodness, it doesn't want to come off. I'm going to have to shake it again. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if I can get this cap off, guys. It just wants to stay on. Okay, there we go. This is very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna shake it off again before I write, just really quick, because I wanna get a true sample of the color, or as best I can. Quick dip! So we have Maringal. Daddy, long legs. I guess 
so I have to re mix. I like the base color a lot. So even without the shimmer, I'm kind of crazy about it. It's like the perfect dusty rose. Okay, so let's let it dry and see how it turned out. All right, our last ink has dried here. A little bit of bleed through all the way over to this page, but not as bad as some of these. <laughs> so it is a really beautiful color. I love the kind of dusty pink aspect of it. You have almost a little purplish in this area and with a little bit of red on the edges. I don't know if that was because of how heavily I put it down. And then you have that gold shimmer in there as well. So I was curious if this one was similar to this color. And I think this one is a little bit more dusty. This is a Vinta. It's this is the Filipino name. It's called the Maiden. So, and this one's much more shimmery than the other. I think I prefer this one to the Maiden because this background pink is a little bit too in your face for me. This is much more my style. So anyhow, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you real soon. Bye.